Ladies and gentlemen, the main objective and purpose of this video is to share my thoughts, interests and opinions of the contents as well as providing a form of entertainment for you, the viewer. Although this video is not of an adult nature, this video may contain material that is not suitable for younger viewers. Therefore, parental guidance and viewer discretion is advised. Thank you very much. I'm a nice guy, look her in my cup, I gotta really toughen up, yeah, no stress. Hello everybody, Man Matt Fresh here with my latest WWE prediction video. Um, please allow me to apologise for this distorted voice. I lost my voice over the last couple of days, so it's slowly coming back, but I will try my best to give you my thoughts and reactions to each match that I believe that will happen on the card. My prediction are based on the events that have occurred before Friday Night Smackdown, the Go Home episode. So without further ado, let's talk about the matches at hand and what will happen in each match. So here we go. So Andrade, who has just returned from a 30-day suspension, will be defending his United States Championship against Humberto Carrillo. Humberto Carrillo won the right to become number one contender after pinning Andrade this past Monday on Raw when he tag-teamed with Rey Mysterio and he pinned Andrade cleanly. I feel, even though these two have been having a rivalry that dates back probably to December, I feel, December or even January, at the Royal Rumble. Um, because of Andrade's uh, wellness fair policy, I feel they're going to punish him and make him lose his championship to Humberto. So, Humberto to win the match and become the new United States champion. So The Miz and John Morrison, who won the Tag Team Championships from The New Day at Super Showdown in Saudi Arabia, will be defending their Tag Team Championships against the Uzos, Ziggler and Bobby Roode, Heavy Machinery, Lucha House Party and The New Day in uh, Elimination Chamber match. Uh, I do believe there are a couple of elements in this match that might play a factor, so obviously Dolph Ziggler stole Mandy Rose from Otis, that's going to play a factor. The New Day also have an issue with Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler as well, that might play a hand in that too as well. Uh, I feel like possibly um, the rivalry leading forward could be the Uzos versus John Morrison and The Miz. So I feel in this match it will be The Miz and John Morrison to retain their tag team championships and possibly go on to WrestleMania to defend their titles against the Uzos. Can I just say this match is an absolute disgrace. WWE is treating these four men like pieces of shit. Literally pieces of shit. So Braun Strowman, who is the Intercontinental Champion, will be defending his championship against three men. Three of the best wrestlers WWE have had. Maybe not so much Sami Zayn, but Sisuke Nakamura and Cesaro are in the league of their own. And the fact that they're going to feed Nakamura and Cesaro to Strowman in order for him to win his championship is absolutely sickening. 
I know it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. Braun Strowman's probably going to pin probably Sami Zayn or something like that. Strowman to win the match and in the process is going to make Sisuke Nakamura, Cesaro and Sami Zayn look like the mediocre wrestlers that WWE have made them but only 10 times worse. So Braun Strowman to retain his championship. So despite retaining their championships at Super Showdown, this past Monday in Raw, they lost the Tag Team Championships in the second match to the Street Profits. So they now won a piece. The Street Profits had to win the match, otherwise they would not be allowed to challenge for the Tag Team Championships anymore. And I feel like because now it's one for one, the next match is going to be the rubber match. And I feel based on how they're making the Monday Night Messiah in Seth Rollins look and how they're making Buddy Murphy look strong as well, I feel Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy are going to regain the World Tag Team Champions and they're going to leave the Street Profits in the sunset and move on to another story with probably uh, Kevin Owens and Samara Joe when he comes back from suspension. So Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy to regain their Tag Team Championships. So we have Alistair Black taking on AJ Styles in a no disqualifications match. This match came about after AJ Styles, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson attacked Alistair Black two weeks ago backstage. Alistair Black then challenged AJ Styles to a one-on-one -on -one match this past Monday on Raw, which we already had a week to look forward to. But then when the match finally come about, AJ Styles put Alistair Black through hoops and hurdles. He had to defeat his OC buddies in Gallows and Anderson in order to fight AJ Styles. Um, they had Alistair Black got beat down by all three men. Hence why it's now, no, it's now a no disqualification match. I feel the same thing will happen again. The OC will get involved and help AJ Styles beat the hell out of Alistair Black. But I feel The Undertaker's presence may be felt here, costing AJ Styles the match. So I feel Alistair Black will win the match due to outside interference from The Undertaker, which will then set up AJ Styles and The Undertaker at WrestleMania. So once again, Alistair Black to win this match. And we finally have what I feel will be the main event of the evening. I could be wrong, but I feel it could happen. So we have Natalia, Liv Morgan, NXT Shayna Baszler, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions in Asuka, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan, all fighting in an Elimination Chamber match to determine who will be the number one contender to face Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. Excuse me. <clears throat> now we both well, I say we both, as in you and I, the audience, know that Shayna Baszler is obviously going to win this match, but how is she going to win the match? I feel maybe Shayna Baszler will be the first one to be put into the cage. She will be dominating everyone in the match. I think Asuka will be the only one that will give her a decent match. But Shayna Baszler will be completely dominant in this match. Maybe Becky Lynch may come out and come have another scuffle with her. But Shayna Baszler to win and to go on to WrestleMania to fight Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship. So 
So, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of my prediction video. So, if you're watching on YouTube, would you like to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, and share the content. And for all you lovely people that are watching this on Daily Motion, please like the video, follow the video, and share it with your friends and family. My next prediction video will be WrestleMania 36, which takes place five weeks from now on April the 5th. Until then, enjoy Elimination Chamber. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Nice guy, liquor in my cup, I gotta really toughen up, yeah, nurse strap.